I first got interested in like 1979 when it first came out. I just heard it on the radio on my way to school one day in the car and I just totally blown out by it. I just couldn't believe it. It was just so so weird. Or like the metallic sounds and everything. I just couldn't believe it. It just mm. blew me off my feet and that was it. If we have a, a major problem and we have to get out of the aeroplane, you, you have to go when I say. I mean, lots of books. You see the robot on top of the pot. I mean, it's just everybody never seen anything like it before. It's, it's a way of life. And it's, you know, it's uh, like like a little family, really. Yeah. Um, various sort of groups of you know, friends are together at discos and meet up at concerts. Pops to the image and um, the music, that was just completely different. Everything that was about all the punk thing, all, the, all like being scruffy, just bad music, and that he'd come along really strong sounds, good image, just come over really well, really like really big image. It's really great, wasn't it? Yes. but very vulnerable. And the car to me was, was a way of being able to get around and not have to worry too much really about who you was going to bump into and what they wanted to do to you. I got beaten up when I was much younger and it kind of made me very nervous about walking about and so on. And I never really, I've never got over that. The synthesizer, you, you go deep within it until you find the sound that you want, and it's much more personal. And you can hunt for days, weeks, even months, searching for a sound, and that's got to be the most human thing of all. Greatest live show in oh, like even even these records that I don't particularly like on vinyl. When you see him live, all the lights and he just moves so well. It's just a pleasure to watch. He's got very loyal fans who still remember. You know, the first time I heard him, so different. Oh, yeah. But he also, hasn't he hasn't kept his music for some. He's changed no. it. So, I mean, he's gone through everything. Originally he was heavy metal, then he went to punk, then yeah. he went to synthesizers, and then he'd done jazz Science funk. funk. We've got one more song, and then it's good night, and we'll see you next year. So, probably... The fans climbing is. I really don't see that as a problem at all. And it's just an identification thing. You know, people go out to a concert, and they want other people to know who they like and where they're going. And it doesn't do any harm at all. Fast food, isn't it? Junk yeah, food, Yeah, it's, it's like mad on McDonald's, Coca-Cola, steaks. Um, he loves planes, women, cars. And he's, uh, he's a nice bloke, really, isn't yeah. he? 
They're very nice people, that's, that's all I can say, really. You know, everyone's different. <laughs> open um, about his opinions. Yeah, he's honest. He's, 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 he's honest. He tells the truth. As simple as that. I used to read the papers and, and all I used to think about was what would it be like and how can I write this and, and try to imagine worlds and shape it. It sounds a bit callous, but I'm not that concerned about it anymore, which is dreadful, I suppose. And that's the way you become cynical and haggard. Oh, yeah.